Hey guys, in this session, we're going to be looking at um, estimation for division. Um, I would recommend you guys to watch the multiplication one uh, before you come to the division one, just because I cover some of those finer points um, in a bit more detail in the previous video in this playlist. Anyway, let's have a look at this. So what do we got? We've got 739 divided by 19. Uh, so what is the actual answer going to be? Uh, the actual answer is around 38.89, blah, 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 whatever, right? So what are we going to do? We're going to go 739. Well, that's kind of close to 740. And then I've got 19, which is a lot more closer to 20. So I'm going to do 740 divided by 20. And the cool thing is, like, remember how I talked about multiplication, right? When you're multiplying two numbers with zeros in the end, you kind of put them together. But when you're dividing, you almost just ignore them. The reason you ignore them is because when you do 740 divided by 20, we cancel out the two zeros. Why? Because we can actually say this is the same thing as saying 74 times 10 divided by 2 times 10. And of course, 10 divided by 10 is 1. Anyway, we got 74 divided by 2. That's roughly 37. And if I look at my calculator answer, it's about 38.9. 37 is fairly close. I think that's a good estimation. Uh, let's go to the next one here. So I've got 4,001 uh, divided by 101. All right, we got 39.61. So I'm going to write down 4,001 as close to, well, I'm going to put it as 4,000. And 101, I'm going to put it as 100. Now, looking at the two zeros, right, and this is, again, when you're dividing big, large numbers, which have a lot of zeros in it, uh, on both the numerator and the denominator, we can kind of do little tricks like this. We can cancel one zero here, one here, one here. Guess what? We got 40 divided by 1 as our answer. 40 divided by 1 is just 40. And if you're wondering why I did those canceling of those two zeros, remember, 4,000 divided by 100 could be written as 400. No, not 400. 40 times 100 divided by 1 times 100. And that is why I tend to cancel those two zeros right at the beginning there, which means you're going to get 40 over 1, and which equals to 40. Uh, let's do one more question. Uh, what do we got? 161 divided by, oh yeah, let's do this one here. So let's take 182 divided by 29. So let's say we want to do this, right? So that's going to be 180 divided by 30. Uh, I've got two zeros, so I can get rid of it. I've got 18 divided by 3, which tends to be 6. So let's have a look on the calculator. What are we going to get? 182 divided by 29. Roughly, we're getting 6.27. And in our answer, we actually got 6. Close enough. That's exactly what estimation is. Estimation is not getting the exact answer, but rather rounding in numbers in a sensible way so that you can do some really quick um, multiplication or division to get as close as possible to your answer. Cool. That is basically it for this video, guys. As always, thank you for watching.